Berserker Bear coming to you from northern tip of Squaw Island, Niagara River. Boots on the ground, bike, bikes on the ground. I'm trying to go to see the caissons at the Peace Bridge, but here's where I am, guys. I was going to walk out to there or rollerblade, but you can see it's raining, so I couldn't rollerblade. Yes, I said rollerblade. Be a good piece of footage here. We got some dudes chilling, fishing. Okay, that's where we are. Uh, Berserker Bear coming to you for another edition of uh, Bushwhack and Tartaria from Squaw Island, Peace Bridge area of the Niagara River, mouth of the river where the Lake Erie empties into Niagara River. And we're going to go over a little bit of facts about uh, this river and some anomalous features in and around the area. Namely, the Peace Bridge, the piers that we spoke about last video, and this area right here where you see my cursor, the H.G. Ward Buffalo Water Pumping Station. And uh, I was here today at, uh, again, I said the northern part of Squaw Island, which they now call Unity Island, but it formerly was Squaw Island. But where I was with at that plaque in that video, Noack Pier, in honor of... Henry J. Nowak, member of Congress, is right here. That's where I was with your, uh, for your boots on the ground and for your orientation. That's where we're uh, facing the Peace Bridge there. And that's where I was. Okay, and it's, they call that, uh, it, it's the Nowak Pier plaque, but it's also the uh, Bird Island Pier. And we'll go over that a little bit. I actually, what I did was uh, took a bike ride here all the way to the Peace Bridge. And we're going to show you what I did along the way. I took some pictures and some video. Now, what's interesting is I was going to go over and I wanted to show you guys uh, the caissons here. At face-to-face um, -face pretty much. And that was my aim when I came down here. And we're also going to go over some anomalous features in that of the uh, Massachusetts street pumping station i think it's an old earthwork waterworks there is uh, evidence of that on old maps that we're going to go over of buffalo around 1812 also the other old black rock waterwork right in the middle of the niagara river underneath the peace bridge okay so i rode my bike all the way out here and uh, made it out to this pier there's a they actually stop you from going further because of certain circumstances going on right now also one of the um, piers actually got damaged by the ice so let's get boots on the ground and have another edition of bushwhack and tartaria peace bridge niagara river massachusetts pumping station and the water intake buffalo crib water intake anomalous features and what's going on with this thing right here in the water let's get at it So I made it out there. I, I, I rode out there and made it to just underneath the, the bridge right here is where I was for that picture. I spared you the ride. But we do have some good pictures, so let's get at it. Now this is the uh, this is the city of Buffalo, Massachusetts Ave pumping station. Interesting how they call it, just the street name that it's on, 1958. We'll see that now. I've I've talked about this before. There is a railway station, or I'm excuse me, a rail line right behind here. For orientation, I'm sitting right about here, taking a picture of right across here. And the last video I was at, uh, or one a couple videos ago, this is where I was actually. That that hill right here. I forget which Bushwhack and Tartaria it was, maybe four, five. I think it actually was the last one, I believe. That, that's the hill that I was at. I think I might have a better picture of it. 
Now this is um, right under the Peace Bridge. I thought I had a better picture of, or that's not a video. I thought I had more going on there. That's where I was for the last video. And this is right underneath the Peace Bridge. Now what I wanted to get at here are these piers. And the fact that we don't have any kind of explicit detail as to how the piers on the Peace Bridge, let alone the International Bridge, were sunk. And um, Pyle drove into the uh, base of the water, as it shows in diagrams here for caissons. Water caissons. Very interested in how they did that in this current, which you're going to see how fast it is. So that's where I was. I took the ride out here, and we're, we're just getting some pictures. Now, that's the old water intake. They're going to call that the waterworks of Buffalo. It's very hard to find information on this thing as well. It's the Black Rock Waterworks, the old water intake, they call it. And there is a tunnel from here to that Massachusetts station right behind us. And we're going to go over that as well. There is another closer look at it. Wait till you see how fast this, the current goes. You can actually see it lipping over the front here. It's obviously have has a, a iron or steel encasing. And it looks like there's obviously old stone here. This is um, very impressive. This thing's it just sits in the river and it just it, it erosion. I just baffled that it just sits there and in this current the the way that it does. And here go the piers. That is my is my focus of um, the focus of my intrigue lately on these videos. It's looking back towards where I came from. That's where I was the last videos for your orientation. See how that's getting sucked out there? This is the Black Rock Canal right here, all in through here. This is near the West Side Rowing Club. Now, I wanted to get right on perpendicular to this thing. Because there are some uh, pictures if you want to go look at historic, pictoric, dot com or Buffalo Historic. They have similar pictures to this. You can do a before and after. There you go. Look at, I wanted to show you guys. That's brick st or stone overlaid by steel right in the middle of that raging river. And I do have video of it, and I want to show you guys what's going on here, though. This is right down in here, and I think this is the old ferry docking that we're going to go over shortly. But I wanted to show you guys how it looks down here. And the Muddy Niagara, how a absolutely powerful it is. Got little ties here. This is obviously a, a, a staging. I mean, I just it boggles my mind that they would do that right here, though. It's the most, aside from the lower Niagara and the cataracts of the Niagara Falls, this is the, the narrowest part of the river, of the Niagara River. And we're going to go over the facts about that here. Very interesting. It's in a, uh, Niagara River is in its own class of river, and it gets overlooked as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, look at these ties here. And you see where we're at orientation right about here. Was there something going on with the, with the with this thing, or would the common narrative be, or mainstream narrative be that this is the old ferry docking portion of the river? And what's this thing? Anybody have? I I look up pictures and stuff, and I do go over some literature, but I'm putting out this stuff like showing it to you and I anybody who knows or is into this kind of um, work or research knows what these are and this stuff is and why is there metal here it's just unbelievably interesting oh another selfie huh had to get it with the trust the steel trust in the background here goes the uh, video 
Let's see what's going on here. Look at that current. How fast that is. So I just, I wanted you guys to see that. It's, it's, it's so impressive when you're right next to it. Sorry if I'm talking very loud. That looks like facade to me. That looks like facade to me, like there might be red brick underneath that. How were these caissons sunk? I understand we can, I understand we can do water caissons, but how was how were those piers sunk in that current? We got pictures of them building the steel truss on top of these piers, but we do not have legitimate pictures of the actual piers being sunk. 1914, I believe, 15, maybe even later than that. I should know the date. What is that thing? Look at that, look at, look at that current, 12, 12 mile per hour current, 12, 13 mile per hour current by the piece, underneath the Peace Bridge. You're sinking case, caissons and that stuff, huh? I don't think they diverted it. I highly doubt that they diverted the flow of that river. So they're telling you that they, they ferried caissons out to that thing and dropped them in that water. I know what I was doing. I had just got stung by a bee here, and I, I have it on my leg right now, through my, through my sweatpants. Stung by a bee, by something. Hurt. So fit a little with my leg, okay. So on the back side of these uh, these piers, because the current, there uh, there's always eddies and whirlpools. And uh, I fished this, this river, I've been in this river hundreds of times on a boat, and I've been in these little things, you can put a boat into them. They're not huge, but they'll spin your boat around a little bit, but they're always there constantly because they're the back edges of the of the piers. You can actually kind of see them. See? See the slack water? But look at all look at those piers also. They're doing work on it so they have the whole bottom of the built bridge encased. See that's parts open, but the other side as you see is was encased, they could walk on it and everything.
A lot of people fish right here. See the old, the old fuck. Now, you used to be able to walk down there. And they closed it off for Coronu. Free? Behind bars. Free? There they are. Okay, there goes the intake, the crib intake, and that's the, oh, geez, what is that, the Bird Island? That's a, it's a lighthouse. I forget the name of the lighthouse, my word. But th those are those two, there you go, that's the intake and the lighthouse right here. Shoal Island Lighthouse, Shoal Lighthouse. Very interesting stuff I'm going to show you right here that, is um going on between this thing the ward pumping station and the crib intake also the massachusetts ave water works going on here from here from here to here to here to here and it seems like they changed the storyline of it from bird island to noack pier very interesting and there they are, boots on the ground. That's what you see when you're there. Yeah, so this is all in case. This is the bottom of it. They're doing work on the Peace Bridge. So what they do is they put all this. It's not scaffolding, really. It's more of like a carriage underneath the actual bridge itself, under these, the truss, so they can work on it. And that's what they're doing with that. And I thought that was a great picture. As above, so below. Now, yeah, a lot of people fish right in here, these slack waters. The fish like to chill right, you know, the current's right here. And the big fish, the walleye and the, the pike and muskie even, will chill in the eddies in the slack water and pink. Uh, pick off the uh, smaller ones as they come by. I had to take some beautiful pictures. Uh, these are the cables that go across to Canada right here. They're strung up across. Very impressive area. As above, so below. That's the other side. That's where they connect to in Canada. Beautiful day. Beautiful pictures these were. Now this is a little sidebar here. I was, I was literally leaving. And I seen this wash up. And it caught my eye because of certain posts that I have or uh, channels that I have in my inspiration, namely Wise Up, Stelium 7. This is a, obviously a chunk of wood. But what I want to get at here is if I get a little bit real, if I get close at it actually, that actually can anybody discern if that's, you know, Nazca Playa or uh, mud or even rock. Wise Up, Wise Up, my man. Shout out to you. I hear you. Uh, even Mud Fossil. Now, I, I look at this and go look at uh, Devil's Smokestack and Columnar Basalt, what they're calling Columnar Basalt. This is a stump of wood. If this was fossilized and petrified over a couple hundred years, that's, that's wood too. That looks like mud. That's the actual wood. So with mud fossil, with the whole petrified wood stuff, wise up and those guys, they have a point. And that's what I'm saying here. 
in real life, I was just driving or riding by, leaving, and I seen that. There goes your columnar basalt over here. Here goes what looks like mud and rock, but it's wood. There you go. That's where I was last. Okay, that's the building that I had last video. There you go. That's where I was on that hill. I went and looked closely, and I got uh, boots on the ground there, if you remember. So this is all in a tight vicinity here. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, interesting stuff in this area of uh, this stretch of the 190, this throughway under the Peace Bridge, and that's where I was actually. Yeah, that's that's exactly the hill that I was on, and I touched that building. Three sixty for you. I wanted to get you guys to get an idea of how fast this looks when you're right next to it too. Those uh, guys were fishing too. It doesn't look as good from here. Actually, wow, it does. You can see how fast it's moving. I wanted you guys to try to see how fast it looks when you're right next to it. I can't explain unless you see it. Old stone wall there, I had to take a picture of that. Some transition. If there's stone and it's a wall, I'm probably gonna take a picture of it. This is gonna show you the, the speed of it too, from a distance, the speed of the river. Look at that. You don't want to mess around with that, ladies and gentlemen. The Mighty Niagara River. It's called Mighty for a reason, and we're going to go over some stats and some more cool stuff right about now. But look at the, look at the speed of that river. Very, very powerful. Beautiful, but powerful. Nice little framing sh ending shot for you. Now here we go. This is from uh, 1812, and this is what they're telling us. You know, Buffalo looked like bird's eye view around 1812, and where we have that Ward pumping station, it says an earthwork here, and where the where the Peace Bridge would be. You know, there's nothing going on here necessarily. But what what strikes my curiosity is the earthwork here. Okay, and that's what would be the um, the ward pumping station here. And that's Bird Island now the Noack Pier. And let's get ourselves oriented here, north to south. Two D, and go over some gravy about this place real quick. That's Bird Island. Now, Niagara River obviously connects the Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. I advise coming down through here and looking through this. What I want to show you guys and explain to you that Niagara River itself is actually in its own class, even though it's listed as number seven on the list of rivers by discharge. Now, what they mean by discharge is uh, cubic feet per second. Okay. Now, if you look, you can just discern from the common narrative from from this information right here that the Niagara River is thirty six miles in length, and it's over two hundred thousand discharge cubic feet per second. Okay. So extrapolate on that. Now, look at what's going on here. It's less than fifty miles. So it's a river that's less than 50 miles. The next closest one is Detroit River, and it's only at 188. 
Niagara River is less than 40 miles even, but it's got a over over um, 200,000 CFS. That's heavy duty. Okay, that's it's in its own class, and it should be it should be uh, noted as that for sure. I'll look that up if you want. It's very interesting. So the caissons, yeah, you know, I I, I highly recommend looking up caisson because what I I have questions about the the um, ability for them to be able to do this in the middle of the Niagara River explaining what I what I just explained especially when they when they're telling certain types of caissons and the one that strikes out sticks out to me is a monolithic caisson keeping in with the fact that we think that these I think that it's a possibility that the piers may have been here already even though it doesn't show them in the maps, you know, these maps are reissued and repurposed and stuff. So, you know, I, I don't buy it. You know, you got to use your own discernment. But what is a monolithic caisson? Any structural engineers have any information on that? Is that, is that what, what these are, the, uh, the piers on the Peace Bridge? Or is, that, is that what those are? Would that, would that be cons- I know that they're water uh, caisson piers, but how are they sunk? They were sunk with the caissons, and these, and these are piers. Where are the caissons? How was that process done? The, the, the Peace Bridge was built. Where is the Peace Bridge information? I have it somewhere. Bird Island. Let's just look it up. Peace Bridge. Nineteen twenty-five. To endeavor to sink caissons in that river with the current that I just showed you, I'd love to see footage of it. Where's the archival footage of something like that, of of these caissons doing stuff like this in the middle of the Niagara River? It's an anomaly, especially with the other water intake underneath the Peace Bridge. And what's a monolithic caisson? Is that what was used in the river? Here goes an old uh, a picture of the Niagara River. See, here's what I'm saying. These can be repurposed. So this is a 1901 map, but it was reprinted in 1932. You have to uh, now understand that the possibility they could be um, censored, of course, because we have some stuff going on here where the where the Peace Bridge was, and I believe that might be the old water intake right there. Or no, here. Excuse me. I'm sorry. This would be the old water intake right here. And you have something going on, like the, it looks like the tube that I'm gonna, or the tunnel I'm gonna tell you about right now, because that Ward pumping station. And we're talking about tubes now. This is a uh, map of 1901, and this is where the Peace Bridge would be. The International Bridge is there, okay? Obviously, so caissons were being sunk that to be able to make that bridge. Found, I'll do another video on that, but there is something going on here. Here goes the old the old pumping station area, interesting area. Horseshoe Reef. There goes the Horseshoe Reef Lighthouse. That's the, the Horseshoe Reef. See that pumping? The other in, in, intake thing. It doesn't show on this map, but I'm I'm pretty sure it was there, and the reissuing of the map probably removed it. In my opinion, and here's where the Peace Bridge was. There's that that intake, I believe. And wh- why why does it look like this? Well, because of of this. Now this is a schematic of that HG Ward pumping station right here in this vicinity. Right here. Let's get a 2D on that. Orient north and south. We are now. This is a schematic. Get yourself oriented here. I'm sorry. Black Rock Harbor, so we're going to be like going like this. Black Rock Harbor is like that, right here. Black Rock Harbor, okay. All oh, this is great for, you know, engin- engineers and everything. Have at it. What I'm worried about is, uh, okay, I'm trying to find information on these tunnels, guys. Muddy May, my research, re- research assistant, um, you're the best, best ever. Uh, giving you a shout out. You're always taking care of me. 
send them links, helping people out in the comments. Money May, you're the best. If you could find any uh, gravy on, see it says how the tunnel to the intake, that means that there's a tunnel to the intake out here. Okay, there is a tunnel from here, underneath the water, to here. Talk about super gravy. I'm trying to find research on that. And also, keeping in mind what we just looked at in this picture. Oh, I'm sorry. With this anomalous feature here, look at how this one goes out. So we, this, this tunnel goes out to that intake. Look what this one says. Tunnels to the Massachusetts Avenue Station. So that's telling you right there that there is a tunnel from here to here. And then you take into account this. There's a tunnel probably from here to here. Where else does it go? Um, I have questions. And I need help, Muddy May. If you could find information on these tunnels... I couldn't really. I mean, I really couldn't. Please post it here. This is our MeWe. I'm going to round this out. This is our autodidactic. Set this up, Campbell. Thank you very much. Uh, Realm Earth Research Group. I'll put a link to it in the description. I'm going to read this off real quick. His story is not our story. Have you heard of Tartaria, the mud flood, or star forts, airships, Antiquitech resets, orphan trains, interested in Hyperborea, this place right here, or the firmament, do you have questions on the mainstream timeline of historical events? We do as well and aim to share our research, hypotheses, findings, inquiries, and hopefully get feedback from you guys. Join us as we test the story that we have been sold as our past. Is it true, completely made up, or somewhere in between? You can help us rewrite history and contribute to a more accurate timeline of historical events. And this is very important, this disclaimer here. Please keep the post related to the subject matters up here. That I, uh, asterisk. Um, it's um, very important that we do that. We don't want any kind of political zeitgeist or um, negative um, fear porn. It's strictly about the subject matter and the research. That's what we're trying to promote here. Okay, please be professional and respectful. There is a profile setup required that helps to weed out people who are interested in that you can peruse you can add to the to the story and uh we we love to have you interested parties only and that's me we i will leave the uh, link in the description please everybody hit the thumbs up share this out there subscribe uh figuring this realm out in real time and we need your help come come subscribe here autodidactic campbell set it up um if you have questions please email me my email is in my about section of my youtube thank you very much for all your support and liking the channel. I hope you like that presentation. There will be more to come. Bushwhack and Tartaria with Berserker Bear. Take care. Be safe.